Hi friends, welcome to Destiny Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh, and my previous video I explained like how to create our basic authentication test case. Now we are going to see for second one is barrier token. How we can able to create barrier token means in here in header we can able to pass it barrier token purpose. I'll show you here. See in this barrier token, if I click for headers. There is a authorization and barrier and space and there is a 64 bit character okay yeah. it's a combination of number and character this is 64 bit one okay in this barrier if you passing then it, we can able to access for that particular api or else here it is coming from here barrier token and we can able to pass for directly barrier token okay this barrier token basically when you are passing for that into authorization place the first we need to specify for barrier and the space and we need to pass for our token okay this is a main thing we are going to providing okay and how we can able to achieve into our robotic framework and here is a simple example i am going to show you here the barrier token purpose were created in the variable location there is a barrier token the barrier space and my token then the test case location the create session we created and there is a dictionary headers dictionary for content type and application and the authorization which is the barrier token we provided that variable we am going to pass into here authorization place this it will take for headers as a a dictionary a key value pair a dictionary it will take for as a key value pair and we are providing for that into here it will store in this headers when you are going to applying the get request place the header equal to we are passing for dollar headers then it will take the list of creating the list of dictionary values and that create a key and value pair and it will store into our request place and it will do for some uh, functionality and if you are seeing here to running once you run it will show for 100% pass because the everything is correct nothing is false and you can able to see the response data also provided two hundred and some values everything in the report also it is presented and the test case pass and everything like this we can able to get it for some response okay that's all about this video i hope you enjoyed for barrier token authentication how we can able to do it using our robotic framework please like my video please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you